This video shows how a wine distributor can quickly expose their data through a secure managed API endpoints to their vendors or clients so they can expand their business. The entire application is running on top of OpenShift with the wine data is also running on top of it too. We are going to use Fuse Online, the GUI that provides system developers to quickly develop our integration business logic to create an API by exposing the existing database data. We need to define the contract and then implement the actual APIs. Okay, let's get started. We start from creating a integration. There's several ways to start and to create an APIs. It's either importing from an existing contract or what you can what you can do is creating from scratch. So this tools that we provide at Procurito, it allows you to design your API with zero coding whatsoever. Edit if you need to, and then produce a universally used open, open API standards. So what you see I'm doing here is to define API path, the URL that you want to call your APIs, and also the API definition, which is the data format that I wish to send or receive. That format can be defined either by specifying the property itself or, or provide an example data file. Then I'm going to decide what HTTP method that needs to be implemented. With each API path, it could be get, post, delete, the three most common ones. And for this case, it's going to be a very simple get method. In this case, I'm going to start by setting the path parameters that, need, that takes the input, which is a string with the name name and the type of strings. And also set up the response and in this case, it's 200, which returns a successfully retrieved wine data back to the sender. And this is how you design the APIs. Once you've done the designs, it, let's go, and, go ahead and save. And once it's saved, it's going to take you back to the Fuse Online console, where you're going to give a name to this integration. Here, I'm just going to call it Wine API. And then it's going to take you to operation page and you will find all the operations and the API path that you have previously defined in the API designing tools. And then I'm going to go to the next phase of the API's lifecycle, which is the actual implementation of the APIs. The implementation itself is pretty simple by selecting the Wine data from the Wine list database. Notice that Fuse Online will automatically pick up the schema of your tables in your database so that it's going to do some kind of validation for you beforehand. Once you're done, we're going to save this configurations and then start mapping. So what this mapping is doing is it's mapping the input request into your SQL. So it's going to take whatever is inserted into your APIs and then put it as one of the requirements of your SQLs and then also map the return data, which is the result that you select from the database and then back to, as the response, back to the clients. So here, this is just simple drag and droppy, very easy for citizen developers. Here is just a quick example of how I can also customize my input data by appending a extra characters at the end of it. And then we can start deploying. Once it's deployed, it will be deployed onto OpenShift, which will be also on the cloud. And then we can start by curling the APIs that we want to call, and then it's going to return every data. You also should be able to see the executing history in the console as well. And now we have the API exposed and created onto OpenShift, but that is not enough because this API is not secure. That is why we need to introduce 3Scale, the API management platform. And the coolest thing now is that it automatically detects all the APIs exposed by Fuse, so it's easier for you to manage them on the platform. And here, I'm just going to quickly show you how everything is configured in 3Scale. First of all, we need to import the services that was automatically detected by 3Scale into the platform. And then once we have that in the platform, we can start configuring it. Here, you find the, um, the one API is found. It's also there, so we're going to start by adding an application plan. This application plan will be the base for um, the people who wants to use your APIs. These are the kind of restrictions. Um, if you want to add any um, monetization into it, you can do it here. And then also um, adding the accounts that is allowed to access this particular API. So you have a set of authorization um, security here as well. Once you have that, um, it's time to actually get some policy configured as well. So here 
in the path, we can set very detailed configuration onto different paths of the APIs and also apply different policy onto API as well. So once we have everything done, we can publish that to production. And then once we have that in the production, we can test that onto our application. So we are going to provide a set of API keys that allows us to get it and then also search for the name of the wine. And it's going to give us the back of the name of the wine. And if you go back to 3Scale, you can take a look at the usage statistics, which is going to show you how many times this API has been called, which is very good for analyzing it afterwards. So just a recap, in this video, we have went through five different steps of quickly implementing a full API development lifecycle from design implementation, deploy, and then service discovery, and then having a secure and managed APIs. Thanks for watching. See you next time.